So, coming so, up from a distance, what would I see of the group with my 22 passive perception? So, to one side of the this large building is what looks to be a group of just plain civilians, and to the other side is a heavily armed group of currently four people, and they look to be talking amongst themselves. And in the middle is kind of just what looks to be a noble, just standing there, kind of tapping his foot, waiting. Um, it it is very awkward. Um, as I'm looking around, checking everybody out, I'm coming over this hillside and not really paying much attention to where I'm putting my feet and really just keep an eye out on these people. I just kind of trip and tumble down the hill. And lands right in front of me. I, what, what happened to you, sir? I fell. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I reached down my hand to try to help you up. I'm yeah, in the background I'm clapping. Uh, yeah. I have to roll to get him on his feet. Or to avoid it, from, from like one of the civilians, you hear, Do it again! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, on the ground, before you really help me up, it's a... Uh, I'm a pretty tall, skinny, blonde guy that... Um, I, I look a little beat up, probably from the fall I just had, um, very well-kept, uh, priestly robes, um, I have, like, a holy symbol in one hand, a shield in the other, and then there's, like, three other holy symbols just all over my person. A holy symbol? Uh, it's yes. a holy- are you part of the church or something? Oh, yeah, I, um, I am from the church, yes. I, I, I heard that there were people that were traveling, and I just kind of wanted to make sure that everybody traveled safely. Ah, oh, well, welcome. I kind of bow a little bit, but not really that much. Well, welcome here. This is, we're, we were about to leave real soon. You know, we could always use some more people, and I feel as if someone from the church could provide us with some good luck, or divine help, anything. Yeah, um, I, I'd be really Ready. happy to help, I just kind of... Yeah. I'm gonna go stand over here. I kinda like yeah, walk over towards behind everybody else and as I'm walking I kinda like trip a little bit and catch myself. Yeah, there there's um kind of like the, the civilians are just kind of like okay, great, another one. Um and it it seems like everybody is pretty much here. Um so you guys kind of like start off to go to the desert and you guys are like and as you guys leave and everybody is kind of like clear of the town somebody like a figure that is dressed in all armor and is has a holy symbol just painted across his front walks up and goes I was hired for a job here hmm. wait, so, wait so another person Strange. Well, I guess they found another cleric. He turns around and leaves. Hey, wait, hold up. Are you here for the job? No, no, you you guys are gone. Oh, okay. So, so he he was the cleric that you hired, but this guy showed up. Wait, wait, wait. So I hired a I hired a second cleric and turns no, out you you hired is... one cleric, but this guy kind of stumbled stumbled into the job, literally. <laughs> Wait, so I hired hands off. I, I don't understand. I, you I'm hired... just like a random dude that just kind of like wandered yeah, in. Yeah, you, you, you were a random guy that, he's a random guy that uh, like came in. But you were like, oh sweet, the cleric I hired was here. 
Oh, I see. Oh, this won't blow up at all. Yeah, so, um, you guys kind of, like, walk. It's it's pretty far from the town. Not not as far as it, as Never Summer. It's about a day or two travel with everybody. Uh, they kind of, like, load up wagons and all that <laughs> but with all the equipment to get a basic setup. Um, so as you guys are walking, it quickly becomes from, like, a, almost an oasis-type landscape to just pure desert. And it is quickly becoming very, very hot. We got wagons, right? And kept. Yes, and there, there is wagons. Oh. Okay, I don't want anybody breaking them. <laughs> Luckily, you have no druids. Um, hopefully, uh, as as you kind of get like partway through uh, the journey, uh, one of the horses that was pulling the two wagons. Uh, there's two horses per wagon has uh, fallen over from heat exhaustion and was put out of, out of its misery. Uh, so now you only have three horses uh, and you kind of get to the spot where you're going to set up a rough camp. And uh, you guys set up this rough camp and, and it is apparent that it is not going to be as easy as once thought. Can we... Um... So we've Can got I burn the horse? Just... Like the horse is killed, the one that fell over. You know, I could have, I could have done you, you... a medicine check on him to try to see if I could save him. I could have patched it up. I do have cure wounds, and less of restoration. No, it was like this. It was an old horse, anyways. Like it was, it was at its end of its line, and the only reason why you kind of like. Like it is kind of a cheap horse. It, so it was just, age. Yeah, it was like it was about to die anyways. So like it dying of heat exhaustion was like nah, no big deal. Okay. Um but I'm gonna go over and say it's a bad idea to leave a corpse out in the open, especially in the wildlands, and I'm gonna burn it with fireball. Okay. So you burn it with fireball and um as you guys are like moving away to uh, g uh, go towards the camp, you guys are setting up. I want all of you to roll a perception check. I'm back. Okay, everybody roll a perception check. I have a passive perception. You roll to you. deception. It passive will not help you. Your passive will not help you here. I wrote a natural I one. I rolled a natural three, but I got a fifteen. How the heck do you have a plus 12? Are you a ranger? High yeah, wisdom and I have observant because I'm a very human. I got oh, it. wait, hold up. I got. I mean, well, then again, no. Never mind. I do have jack of all trades, but I would only raise it up to three. <laughs> so, hands off and Jacques. As you guys are going away, you kind of. It's faint, but you hear. The stirring of sand that's not the wind blowing and you guys kind of turn around and the body of the horse that was burning is now gone I summon my owl <laughs> hey did anybody else see that see what see what uh that horse is gone oh shit hey look that's back do I see it? Wait, do I see it or is it too far away? Uh, it's gone. Gone? You can't see it because it's gone. I probably wouldn't recognize it. Is uh, anyone here familiar with the creatures of the desert? Ah, uh, no. Uh, really. we just roll? You know, I think I treated <laughs> the guy with crabs before. Crabs come from the desert, right? Have, have I, I read something? something I from, up uh, if you guys want to, if you guys want to do it, make me a uh, wisdom, or no, that would be intelligence or uh, history. <laughs> no. Jacques knows all. Jacques sees all. I guess. <laughs> 
I'm fucking old, so. <laughs> All right, uh, Jacques, you uh, you know typically, or well, Jacques and Cairo, you know typically that this desert kind of holds large-ish crabs that are dwelling caves. They are larger right. than man, um, and it is said that there are sandworms, but it has not been proven. There, there, let, there, we know that there are giant crabs that live in cave, underground caves here, as well as some rumors of sandworms, but that seems to be just superstition. At least the sandworm part, anyway. I, uh, I proceed to grip my sword a little tighter at my waist. All right, then. Yeah, so as you kind of move off into the direction of the camp, um, there's nothing really, nothing really disturbs you, um, other than the fact that the body of the horse was gone for the people who saw it, and you did not see the thing that took it. Um, I'm you guys... Use... Go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use my raven, Corvus, and gonna do the, the thing where I see through its eyes and let it fly around. Um, around our camp to see if there's any more movement in the sand. I will use okay. my owl to do the same. Alright, make me uh, perception. Well, you know that you can only dog. communicate with it telepathically in the seal will lock. No. No, we can I take can over the vision see of it. through it eyes. Yeah, we can we can take over the vision and control of the body. They they can yeah, it's it's part of familiar. Uh, so it has a mine has advantage on anything to do with hearing or sight. Yep. So. All the birds do. Yep. I'm just saying. Oh, as long as it's within a hundred. Okay. I... That's good. Oh shit, boy. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you guys. Um, you guys can see there's kind of like the movement of scorpions and stuff. Uh, other other. Kind Are of... these giant scorpions or regular scorpions? No, no, just 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 regular ones. Uh, nothing too large. There are a couple of. Um. Like dunes just blowing in the wind, nothing too major. Um, nothing seems to be any hostile movement or anything moving underground. So, Ranger, you know a lot about the wild. Do you know where is the best place to find water or a best place or a good place to settle down? In the desert, water can be found only one of two, three places. Clouds in the sky, deep underground, or if we're lucky. I'd suggest if you wanted to find water here, and we'd start digging. The best place to make camp would probably be in the shadow of a sand dune. Oh. That way, it would shield us from the wind and chill at night. Yo, man, do you need some water? I got some water. Oh. I can do some miracles and shit. Have enough water. Nah, nah. I just need to know when we when we're going to stop. When? Uh, if if you guys want, you guys can uh make perception. Uh, the people with birds, you guys can see there are trees kind of far, far, far away. Like borderline horizon. Okay. Hmm. So murder that way. Whatever that means. Probably circling a depth corpse. So I'm I'm gonna pop out of the, the, the bird thing and I'm gonna ask uh Cairo. Cairo Do you have a plan where you want to put your you know frontier town? Well, I'm mostly looking for any place that either has a lot of natural resources like iron or something just or either that or some place where we could perhaps just survive off of like near an oasis okay because off on any of these directions i don't know i point direct to where i saw those trees there yeah, were trees it's, it's, in the distance it's kind of like southeast wait so, so the, i point southeast so there's, 
So what's up, what's down southeast? There, there were some trees in the distance. Trees? Well, perhaps we should go there. If there's trees, there's bound to be water. It, it, it was pretty far away, so it would probably take us a good while. Well, do we have any other leads? Uh, there's there's a couple mountains, like, and I'm talking like mountain mountains, as in these stretch high into the sky, and they look to be some have caves in them, some look to be have ore. You could probably dig into one of them and find water, but it's very unlikely. Um, you could probably dig into the ground and make a well. Um, it's up to you what you do, really. Well, Question we can is, make a well anywhere, but we'll, we'll need to have some place to get started, though. In what direction are the, the, the mountains? Uh, they're kind of like south southwest. So, like, the same direction the trees are? Yeah, or about the same. Southeast, uh, like, different diagonally. Oh, so it was the southeast. It was and yeah, so south, um, it's, it's southeast, and then the mountains are south, southwest. Snow on them. <laughs> Sorry, did you say something? Have snow on them. Hmm. I mean, it would be uh, kind of hard to get yeah. that snow, though. No, but if there's snow, then that means there's snow runoff. Means the yeah, but I don't want to be next to a mountain because I might like, get hit by a rock avalanche or whatever. <laughs> I suppose. You'd rather <laughs> die in the heat. I think I'll take my chance with the rocks. Uh, I like, what, if some, what if somebody tries to and you one against us? Democracy. I should decide. Are, are you are you actually gonna do that? Are you actually gonna do democracy? I don't care. For now, until I make a, until I make a final decision, we'll do democracy. What do you guys want? I want to go to the mountains. It seems like a way better place. It's gonna be like it's gonna be more water there. And it's gonna be like a shadowy area. So it's gonna like retain water for way longer. It's gonna be drift off from the snow. Temperature is gonna be way less warm. I think like that's definitely what's going on. Uh, are the, the mountains and the trees about the same distance from us? Uh, yeah. Looking at it, uh, they appear so. The mountains are probably just a little closer. Okay, mountains it I is. I personally vote mountains because they seem like they would hold perhaps, you know, uh, terrain that I'm more familiar with. Which caves one? and whatnot. Mountains are the, are the trees. The mountains. Uh, Okay, so we got three people who want to go to the mountains. I guess that's where we're going then. If nobody else has anything Yay! to say. Yeah, so you guys kind of pile back in the wagons after looking this. And you guys start moving towards the mountains. And because everybody's kind of like new to this and Claus is kind of still high on pain meds from getting his wisdom teeth out, we'll end it there for today. Okay. okay. Alright. Alright, hands off. Good luck with the teeth. Holy shit, that's a fucking... That's yeah, I know, I know what it's like to have your wisdom teeth removed. Nope, that's, that's tough stuff. I've been high for like a solid several days and I'm over it. Feels 